What's up everybody, I'm the Mangoose, you are awesome, and it's time for another edition of The Road Back to Paragon, where I give you a snapshot of what's been going on in the third-person MOBAs that I track. I'm going to change things up a bit this time and do away with the summary and history of the games, instead just give you the down and dirty of what happened during the month of July. I will say right up front that all of these games plan for eventual PlayStation release, and other consoles are not out of the question, however, all of the alphas will be PC exclusive. I also do not know any firm alpha dates at this time. So let's kick things off with Metabuff and Core. The big news out of Metabuff this month was that Sylphen left the team. Now whether that's a good or bad thing is kind of up to the individual and how much you liked Sylphen and his ideas. I personally have always been a Sylphen fan, however I was not a fan of the Proof of Concept series that Metabuff released and that was heavily influenced by the ideas gathered during some of Sylphen's livestreams. I'm sad to see him go, but in the end it may turn out to be a good thing for Core. Metabuff in general has been in a rough spot lately with a few other people leaving the team, however I've been staying in steady contact with the leadership of the company and they have assured me that everything is still you know, moving forward. While my overall excitement for this particular project has dwindled, I still have faith that they will eventually come through with their planned sequel to Paragon. I have one of their game testers as a guest on this week's For the Minions, hopefully he can clear the air and extinguish some of the doubts that the community seems to have. Moving on to Omeda Studios and Predecessor. Ameda has begun internal testing of the new build for the game to see if they've resolved some of the bugs found during the initial alpha test. According to their founder, Sergeant Smokey, the tests have been going really well. They've been able to iron out the hero kits as well as test out the minion and tower AI. Now they plan to rebuild the item system and run more tests once that's finished. Also for predecessor, their level designer Fringe has been hard at work redesigning some aspects of the map and making it not only look better, but the changes will help your computer run the game better. He's also been employing some new assets for the towers and core, and I think they look a little better than the monolith assets that they were using before. I like the monolith towers, but they did seem a bit out of place in a very legacy-inspired map. Things seem to be going quite well for Omeda. Hopefully they'll be ready to re-release their alpha soon and wipe the memory of all the bugs that plagued the initial release out of our collective memory. I had quite a bit of fun setting foot back in Agora in March, and I definitely look forward to their next round of alpha tests. Onward to Undying Games with Ethereal. Ethereal this month released some of the artwork and a bit of information about their item system. Not much to talk about here without knowing any of the stats for the game, but we can see that they put just as much attention to detail into their items as they have with voice lines, map design, and hero design. Undying continues to impress with everything they put out. If you've been watching my channel, you'll know that I'm a hardcore Ethereal fanboy. As much as I look forward to Core, Predecessor, and Phoenix Rising, and as much as I value the friendships I've made with the leadership of those companies, I can't help but look forward to Ethereal the most out of all these games. That's going to close things out for this month. We unfortunately didn't have anything to announce for Visionary. However, I assure you that Project Phoenix Rising is still going strong. If you're just now finding out about these games, I encourage you to take a look at some of the other Road Back to Paragon videos I've done where I go into more detail about the origin of each game. For now, this is the Mangoose signing off. You guys have a good one. Mangoose!